Picture yourself being extremely ill, relying on a specific medication to not only keep you stable while subduing the illness, but possibly curing your illness altogether. Seeing that all hope rested completely on one pill, you would think that this prescription would be reasonably priced, wouldn't you? How would you feel if a pharmaceutical company inflated the price not just a little, but astronomically, making it nearly impossible to financially obtain the drug? Well, this is a precarious situation, is it not? This is why it should be illegal to significantly raise the price of drugs like Daraprim. Let us start by taking a look at the drug Daraprim and why it's important. According to WebMD.com, Daraprim is used with other medications such as a sulfonamide to treat serious parasitic infection, toxoplomosis, in the body, brain, or eye, or to prevent toxoplomosis infection in people with HIV infections. If you are unaware, of what HIV does to one's health. It essentially takes over your white cells, preventing the body from to be able to fight off an infection. Drugs like Daraprim and others are utilized by many HIV positive individuals in the world to help fight off infections and live as healthy of a life as possible. Drastically raising the price of potential life-saving drugs is not only wrong, but inhumane. Let us take a look at a situation in which this has recently happened. If you're not one who enjoys watching the news or reading a newspaper, then it's safe to assume that you're unaware of the recent spike in costs of drugs like Daraprim. An article by the New York Times Web Edition follows a trend of the raising prices of old neglected drugs and labeling them as specialty drugs. Before Martin Scarelli, chief executive of Turing Pharmaceuticals, acquired Daraprim, its price was $13.50 per tablet. After getting a hold of the pill, Turing Pharmaceuticals, Turing Pharmaceuticals raised the price to $750 per tablet, which is roughly a 5,000% increase. As the article states, most increases in pharmaceuticals are focused on new drugs that are used for life-threatening diseases such as cancer or hepatitis C. Actions such as these with no verified motive other than greed should be illegal because people who are ill and in need of drugs like Daraprim most likely cannot afford the price increase. Not to mention, it is also inhumane to have someone pay to survive. To combat such astronomical price increases, policy has to be changed in order to effectively regulate how and why prices are increased. An article written by Zachary Brennan of Regulatory Affairs Professional Society Web Edition speaks on the Bipartisan Budget Act passed by Congress in November of 2015. This article discusses additional rebates that companies would be required to pay to keep them from drastically raising prices. As this act would help the consumer, it is perceived to affect the manufacture rate of the drugs by pharmaceutical companies. Therefore, any act applied to pharmaceutical companies should be fair in the sense that it regulates pricing procedures to provide drugs at an affordable cost to consumers, but also will allow for proper revenue to continue research on developing new drugs used to treat diseases. In order to establish a fair and equal playing field, each side of the equation needs to be respected in the fact that providers are being paid for being paid an adequate price to ensure production of the drugs and consumers pay a price that is deemed affordable. In conclusion, I have addressed the pharmaceutical drug Daraprim and its uses why the trend of spiking prices of pharmaceuticals should be illegal, as well as addressing the fair and equal treatment of both supplier and the consumer. The only way to keep all parties in matters such as these happy and healthy is by ensuring equal treatment across the board. Something that ensures prices remain fair for consumers and also brings in enough red revenue for manufacturing companies will take time and effort amongst our government-appointed officials. However, it will help stop the greed which fuels certain companies to skyrocket their prices for personal gain, or to help fund unnecessary purchases by CEOs like a $2 million Wu-Tang Clan. Thank you for your time.